Hello everyone, and welcome to part two of our Tokyo Game Show recap for Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. This is the second part of our two-part video series that aims to officially introduce some of the later stages of the game, along with advanced tactics and rare or hard-to-find weapons and items. If you missed part one, be sure to backtrack and find it on our YouTube channel. In this part two, we'll hunt some zombies in the side op Eliminate the Wandering Puppets 6. In addition, we'll give you a quick sampling of some of the MGS3 themed DLC costumes that'll be dropping later this month in time for Halloween. So if you want to get your snake eater on, be sure to check them out, but do keep in mind that these costumes are paid content. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, we'll select the mission from our mission list. Then select an appropriate landing zone. We'll go to the character select menu, and keep Snake as our player character, but we'll give you a brief sampling of some of the more unusual uniforms hidden in the game, such as this naked gold snake. There's also silver if you prefer, for both Snake and Quiet. And for those who imported data from Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes, you can also use a golden bionic arm to match. Very Bond-esque, isn't it? And next, we'll give you a sampling of some of the MGS3 themed costumes that'll be launched later this month. Among them is Naked Snake's Fatigues and the Tuxedo. Both should look familiar to veterans of Snake Eater. Aside from these, there are also various other costumes, including suits for female staff modeled after the boss, and Eva. But for today, we'll stick with Snake's leather Diamond Dogs jacket. This should look familiar to anyone who's seen our previous Phantom Pain trailers, and anyone who's cleared the main story missions. It can be unlocked late in the main game. So without further ado, let's start the mission. like it's dusk as we begin our mission here, which should make for some nice atmospheric zombie hunting. For those familiar with the mission, you can skip ahead a bit. Otherwise, for everyone else, our mission area is Afghanistan, and our goal is to eliminate the puppet soldiers at Serac Power Plant. What are puppet soldiers exactly? Well, I'll keep on watching to find out, and to get some pointers on how to deal with them effectively. But don't worry, we won't spill any details. No spoilers. So we'll go ahead and disembark. And use a vehicle to cover ground quickly as we approach our mission area. We'll go ahead and open up our map. And mark our destination at Ciroc Power Plant. And we'll also play a tape to enhance the atmosphere. Approaching our mission area now. And you can see that the roads look quite deserted. As we approach, we'll go ahead and kill the lights that we're not spotted. It 
looks like the scene at the power plant is eerily quiet. There's no one around. Guards aren't at their usual posts. Let's take a closer look. Nope, no one there. No one there either. Very suspicious. Let's head in to investigate. Right, looks like there's somebody here. And there he is, one of our targets, a puppet soldier. And as you can see, they're pretty much zombies. And like zombies, they're hard to put down with normal attacks. That said, a headshot did the trick. We've eliminated one of them. Seven more to go. There's a light on in this building. Let's take a look and investigate. As you can see, shooting them in the body doesn't have much effect. And if they get too close, they will try to grab you, so be careful. Put them down quickly. Aim for the head. Looks like we have a bunch more in this room. This could be bad, we're cornered. Bolts aren't doing much good. Let's take these guys out with some CQC. Alright, nice use of consecutive CQC. But, as you can see, they don't stay down long. Alright, it's dangerous to stay in here. Let's head out into the open. We'll have to fight this guy off. There's another guy behind us. out in the open so that we can take care of these guys more efficiently. Alright, so we'll make a run for it. Lava smoke grenade. That should slow them down. Now we could eliminate all these guys, but that would be a waste. They may be puppets, but they can still be rescued and brought back to Mother Base. After undergoing proper treatment, they can still join your army, and will actually earn medals as a result. So let's try a more elegant approach. Throwing out some decoys, we'll keep them busy in one spot. Now let's show you a cool easter egg. These guys may look like zombies, but inside they're still human. Normal weapons may not have a physical effect, but there is a non-lethal solution that works by taking advantage of their latent human psyche. Afghan Lullaby is a rare tape that you can pick up in the field that has a hypnotic effect on enemy soldiers. To use it, we first enable speaker mode on the Walkman so that soldiers in the area can hear it. Then we press play. Anyone who hears it, including puppet soldiers, will fall asleep in a matter of seconds. And that's it. All that's left to do is to Fulton recover the soldiers and clear the mission area. The tape we introduced in this mission, Afghan Lullaby, is an example of a rare class of audio tapes that actually has specific effects on soldiers when played through loudspeakers. That said, these tapes deteriorate quickly and cannot be used repeatedly. In the case of Afghan Lullaby, you can only play it once before the tape snaps, so it would be wise to use it only when it's truly needed. Oh 
All right, that's it. All targets have been eliminated or recovered. So let's go ahead and get rid of our active decoy. Leave no trace of our presence behind. As we prepare to depart, we'll set our helicopter music to Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain's main theme, Sins of the Father. Then call in Pequod. Please select a support helicopter requested. Alright, and that concludes the mission. We hope you enjoyed this final gameplay video, along with all the other gameplay videos released thus far. But remember, there are still many other secrets hiding in the game, so keep on playing and enjoy unlocking them on your own. We look forward to seeing all of your gameplay videos moving forward. For console gamers, don't forget to download MGO when it goes live on October 6th, and if you're feeling nostalgic for MGS3, by all means be sure to check out the DLC costumes when they go live later this month. Thank you for watching.